Duquesne Light said, it's not on their end at all. All their boxes are hot. It's housing authorities in. Now, I just got off the phone with the maintenance emergency line. She stated that she's going to send a technician out again. It's 27 hours almost. KDKA getting answers tonight to help dozens of people who are left without power in McKee's Rocks. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. KDKA's Jennifer Brasso is live to explain what took so long. Jen. Great question, Ken. Well, this was one of the buildings behind me that didn't have power. It was restored at around 830 tonight. The Allegheny County Housing Authority, it was an equipment problem. A Duquesne light worker told me and it was going to take about a week to fix, but a crew came in, a Duquesne light crew to fix it. The sweat just poured down my face. It had been more than 24 hours of agony here at Hayes Manor in McKee's Rocks. Terrible, terrible, and, and, and you can't rest, you're tossing and turning because you can't get comfortable. The heat is overbearing. We're in there burning up like last night. We had to sleep, literally, we couldn't even sleep. We was up three or four in the morning, baby screaming. Mom Jean Williams tried to get answers from the Allegheny County Housing Authority. Is there any possible way that you can tell us when our electricity will be back on? Danielle Green, a mother of two, says the power went out in eight buildings on Wednesday at four after thunderstorms hit. There's no hot water. Our food is spoiled. This is just really sad. People's kids, it's so hot. Like, it's really hot. Like, it's not even, then it's not like they can't even put us in a hotel for a day. We tried to get answers, but no one called us back. More than 24 hours later, we were here as power crews arrived, trying to end this nightmare for these folks. A Duquesne light worker tells me there was an equipment problem from the Allegheny County Housing Authority. A problem, he says, that couldn't be fixed for at least a week. So Duquesne light fixed the problem. Meantime, many here tell me they felt helpless. I have no as ACs in here for my children. My children are asthmatics anxiety, PTSD. We living in subsidized housing. We need help. We need help. And Jean Williams, you just heard from, she says that yes, it is a big sigh of relief that the power is back on at her place, but she says that it never should have gotten to this point. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.